question. Hello and welcome to the Rutland Osprey interviews at Bird Fair 2018. Today I'm interviewing Ken Davis. He is an education officer for Rutland Ospreys and he's also a volunteer. So Ken, have you always had an interest in wildlife? Yes, I have. When I was really young, my dad used to take me out on his bike and we'd go spotting the different birds and animals around in Wiltshire, that was where I grew up. And so since then, really, I've always been taking every opportunity to go out and look at wildlife, birds, animals, mostly in the areas where I've lived, whether in the north of England or in east, the east of England, wherever, really. It's always been one of my passions, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I'd love to do that one day as well. Good. Where is your favourite place to bird watch? Well, I suppose at the moment it has to be here, Rutland Water, because I come here two or three times a week during the season and in the winter as well. And since I've been education officer, we've always had uh, groups of young people around showing them the different birds. So it's really grown on me, not just the places that everybody goes to at Rutland, but the more out of the way places where I've been with you during the winter, for instance. We found some really good places to spot different things. And it's amazing what you see, not just the birds that everybody likes to see, like the, the ospreys, but the other, the small woodland species, the rare um, ducks and waders that come in the autumn and winter. It's a fantastic place. And that's why so many people love to come here. I agree. It is a really nice place for water. It is. It is. So that, I would say, is my favourite place. But I've got favourite places as well. When we go to Africa, I've got favourite places in Senegal and Gambia where we go to see the ospreys in the winter. I've got favourite places on the Norfolk coast. Like you, I expect you've got favourite places too. Yeah. I mean, I've got favourite places around where I live. So. Yeah, I know, yeah. <clears throat> How did you come up with the ideas for your Aussie books? Well, that's interesting. That goes back to the year 2010, a long time ago, eight years now, when we planned our very first trip to Africa. And Tim McCrill, who was leading the Osprey Project at the time, said to John Wright, artist, and myself, we need a simple story so that we could begin to tell the African children about the Ospreys. They seem to think that the ospreys are in Africa all the time, but we need to show them that you know, for, their, um, for their summer, the ospreys go away and live in Rutland Water and other parts of the UK. So we came up with the idea of a little story um, for children and young adults that would tell the story of the osprey in simple words and pictures. And the pictures were done by John Wright and uh, for ages we couldn't think of a name. What should we call the star of this story? The star of the, star of, the story, of course, is an osprey. And we wanted to make it something that everybody would know and remember. And eventually, it was John actually who suddenly said, I know, we'll call him Ozzy. And so from that moment, Ozzy was born. Are there any plans for another o Aussie book? Well, if you look at the last page of the last one, it'll say, we'll have to wait and see. So I think that gives you a clue that, yes, we have got plans for a third Aussie book in the st story. The only difficulty that's holding it up is that John Wright doesn't work here anymore. He's moved to Scotland where he's working with Golden Eagles. And so I think I need to find another artist. So if you know any, Sam, put them my way and we'll say, yeah, we'll do another Aussie book. Would you be amazing enough to give us any clues on the new Aussie book? Well, the new Aussie book, we left Aussie as a young adult coming back to Rutland Water at the age of three, still too young to breed, but on the last couple of pages of the last book, Ozzy finds a mate, a female called Preya. So it's Ozzy and Preya. Now, they're too young to breed that year, but who knows, in the future, they're going to have adventures building their own nest and bringing up their own brood in Rutland Water. So what... Over the last 
last few years, whilst working for the Rutland Osprey Project, you've seen many ospreys come and go. Have you got a favourite osprey? Well, we love them all. Um, there's been some real stars. The, the first one I really got to know well was 03, 97, and of course the original. I watched him for years. He produced 32 chicks with three different mates and was a real star. But also some of his, his um, chicks have also done really well. I like 5R, 5N. I remember watching 33 hatch in the Site B nest and then to see him again was brilliant. So no, I don't think I've got one favourite, but there's several that, because I've been there when they've hatched, or I've been there when they've been ringed, or I've seen them do special things, I think I begin to think that they're all special sound. I would agree on that. I love all ospreys, but my favourite would be, have to be 33. Good. Yes, that's a good one. And let's hope in the next few days he begins to migrate and then we'll see him again next year. Yes. So, thank you for watching this interview with Ken and me. Good night.